Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So I'm here with a YouTube video. So a lot of people have been wanting me to talk about the whole Kyrie Irving situation. I've been kind of sitting back, chilling, and sipping tea while all of this has played out. So if you guys don't know Kyrie Irving, he's a basketball player. And so basically, he's come out and he's stated that he does not want to get the vaccine and that he's willing to forfeit his money. He, you know, he just wants enough information. He does not feel comfortable getting it. And so many people have attacked him like Stephen A. Smith and many people in the media. And he's, you know, responded to Stephen A. Smith and a few people. This took place last week. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these two clips. Go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. But I've been covering the NBA now for almost 25 years. I mean, this is some of the stupidest nonsense I've ever seen. Just flat out stupid. So let me get this straight. So if the reports are true, because we don't know whether they are or not. OK, but let's give credit to Sham and others who have reported this. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Let's go with that. OK. If it is true, Jay, if it is true, Marcus, so you don't have a problem with taking the vaccine, your position is that you're going to sit up there and compromise the championship aspirations of an organization you signed on to represent. You coaxed Kevin Durant in the signing on to represent. You coaxed, you played the role in coaxing James Harden into signing on to represent. You're going to compromise all of that. Because you want to give a voice to the voiceless. Really? And how is that going to work out for you, Kyrie Irving? You're going to disappear from the game of basketball? Who the hell is going to be interested in what you have to say when you have proven that you can't even be trusted enough to do your damn job? A job you volunteered for. This ain't the military where you were drafted. You chose to play basketball. You chose to enter the NBA. You chose to sign that contract as a free agent to go to the Brooklyn Nets. You chose Brooklyn as your destination. You chose the Nets franchise to represent. You asked KD and James Harden to come on board with you in Brooklyn to establish your own legacy. And then you leave them hanging. You know, I had to stop running away from using my voice and using my platform to, uh, you know, speak on what's true and what's mine. You know, nobody's going to hijack my voice. Nobody's going to take the power away from me that I have for speaking on these things, you know. And don't believe that I'm retiring. Don't believe that, <laughs> you know, I'm going to give up this game uh, for a vaccine mandate or staying unvaccinated. Don't believe any of that shit, man. Like, like really be aware of what's being said uh, before I even get a chance to be on the podium and speak for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these people saying all these things about what's going on with me, and it's just not true. Pay attention to what's going on out in the real world. You know, people are losing their jobs to these mandates. Uh, people are having to make choices with their own lives, which I respect. You know, and and I don't want to um, sit here and, and play on people's emotions either. Just use logic. You know, what would you do? You know, if, if you felt uncomfortable going into the season uh, when you were promised that you would have exemptions or that you didn't have to be forced to get the vaccine. You know, this wasn't an issue uh, before the season started. This this wasn't something that I foresaw coming where I prepared for it. And, uh, you know, I had a, a chance to strategize on what was going to be best for me and my family. I came into the season uh, thinking that I was just going to be able to play ball, you know, be able to use my my talent uh, to continue to, uh, you know, inspire, influence people in the right way. You know, this, like putting this on me is just like, why are you putting it on me? You know, like this, this is not part of, uh, <laughs> you know, what's going on in conversations with scientists, physicians, and doctors. I'm, I'm just a hooper, right? Like I'm, I'm just a person uh, who, who's being utilized as, as an example. For some odd reason, you know, people love to have my name in the mix of just some BS. Like just hearing the way people speak so, con you know, with so much conviction about what I should be doing in my life and and what, you know, my teammates should be feeling about me, what the organization be feeling about me and make these convictions yourself. Like I got to make these myself. 
because it's going to continue to revolve around this and that. And, yo, you're going to lose out on money. and You're going to lose out on this. Like, so what? It's not about the money, baby. It's not always about the money. It's about choosing what's best for you. You think I really want to lose money? You think I really want to give up on my dream to go after a championship? You think I really just want to give up my job? You think I really just want to sit at home and 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 not go after the things with my teammates that I, I've been able to to grow with, to learn with, to learn that it takes sacrifice in this space? Because we could be easily at home chilling with our families, but we're choosing to go out there and perform, you know. And even in that job, like that, that's a dream come true. I've been working on that since I was in fourth grade. You think I want to give up my livelihood because of a mandate? Because I don't have accommodations? Because I'm unvaccinated? Come on. I'm not going to be used as an as as a person in this agenda. You know, like I I'm not I'm not even going to speak on that. I'm just saying like it should be not it should not be divided amongst all of us. It should just be understood and respected. And mind you, once again I'm going to repeat this is not about the Nets, it's not about the organization, it's not about the NBA, it's not politics, it's not any one thing. I'm always going to stay true to me, and that's me. You know, this is my life. I get to do whatever I want with this. This is one body that I get here, one God body that I get here. And you telling me what to do with my body, and it has nothing to do with the organization. I'm going to put that out there. It has nothing to do with the Nets. It has nothing to do with my teammates. This has everything to do with what's going on in our world, and I'm being grouped in to something that's bigger than, than just the game of basketball. And, you know, you got that. That fandom, you know, which is like a religion to people out here. Basketball is like a religion. Entertainment is like a religion to people. They, like, get so caught up emotionally. It's just like, yo, effing get vaccinated or just leave. You know, we angry at what you're doing, man. And it's just like, nah, that's, like, what are you talking about? I'm a human being. I have emotions. I have feelings. I have thoughts. uh, Things that I keep to myself. Things that I share. uh, But I'm staying grounded in what I believe in. It's just as simple as that. It's not about being anti-vax or about being, uh, you know, on one side or the other. Like, it, it's just really about being true to what feels good for me. Uh, you know, I'm still uncertain about a lot of things. that, And that's okay. You know, if I'm going to be demonized for having more questions and taking my time to make a decision with my life, then that's just what it is. You know, like, that's that's something I got to sit in. You know, I know the consequences of the decisions I make with my life. You know, I'm not here to sugarcoat any of that. But if if we really going to be real, like, it, it's crazy times we're in. It's crazy times. Like, how many people are really thinking with, with, the, with, a balance, with a balanced view? You know, how many people are really thinking about the future of what's going on? It's crazy times we're in. We just came out of one of the craziest pandemics of all time and you're telling me to think rationally how many people are really thinking rationally you i'm not the focus here you know what i mean? I got on here to to really show that like i'm real enough to stand up when i feel like i'm being put in a in a effed up position you know like i'm i'm not even that i haven't hurt anybody i haven't committed a crime I'm not out here acting. All right. So you guys just saw what Stephen A. Smith had to say. And you guys saw what Kyrie Irving said in response. Well, now, as of yesterday, it seems like everybody's coming at Kyrie. Charles Barkley uh, basically called him out yesterday. Uh, Howard Stern called him out. But the person that kind of shocked me the most who had the audacity to call him out was Magic Johnson. I mean, it was the audacity for me. Of all people, Magic Johnson is calling out Kyrie Irving. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys all three clips. Check out what these guys had to say about Kyrie, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Your buddy over here is grimacing. Chuck? First of all, you don't get the vaccine for yourself. You get it for other people. No, I'm not saying. Hold on, on for I want You said your piece. No, I'm sorry. I, I didn't say you do. I, I got vaccinated. I can't wait to get the booster. I don't you don't get vaccinated just for yourself. Like Adam said, you get vaccinated for your family first. You get vaccinated for your teammates second, things like that. That's what bothers me about this whole thing. I think everybody should get vaccinated. The only and let me tell you something, I really am proud of the Nets for putting their foot down uh, for saying, No, we're not gonna deal with this half on uh, half on, half off. The only thing that bugged me, he's still gonna make seventeen million dollars sitting at home. Mm-hmm. I wish they could find a way 
if he wants to go on this thing, like, you know, people say he's like Ali. First of all, don't ever compare anybody to Ali. Ali went three years without boxing. He was the highest paid athlete in the world. This guy going to make $17 million for sitting at home. But to every person out there, you don't get vaccinated just for yourself. Let's get that out the way. There's some people who are willing to walk away from millions of dollars and not get vaccinated. And I, I got to say, it, they're so stupid. They're putting their, their mouth where their money is. I got to right. tell you, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Um, one of them is that basketball player. Kyrie Irving. He's my favorite dude who's like putting his money where his mouth is. You got to say, in terms of idiots, he's got to be the top idiot in the country right now. Guy's got a chance as a young man to make millions of dollars. All he's got to do is get vaccinated, but he doesn't want to get vaccinated. So I've they, never heard a reason why. Did he have a reason? He doesn't need a reason. It's just that he's stupid. You know, okay. because this guy's got a history of being stupid. He's one of those guys who, <laughs> who's a flat earther, too. And you know what it is? He doesn't know anything. Oh, boy. He just knows, well, I can't figure. His, his mind works in a very strange way. He's like, I can't figure out gravity. So, therefore, it probably doesn't exist. And just because they tell me there's gravity doesn't mean there's gravity. Or he goes, all I know is I, I go to the beach and like I look out at the ocean and I see it's flat. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't give a fuck what they the say. The fight over COVID vaccines is taken center stage in a number of sports arenas. Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving is taking a stance against getting vaccinated. He refuses to get a shot in response. Uh, the Nets have banned him from participating in all team activities until he gets vaccinated. And today on CBS Mornings, Lilia Luciano sits down with NBA legend Magic Johnson to get his insights into the situation. Johnson, do you think every player should come out and say, I will get the vaccine, I'm vaccinated, and so should you? Oh, for sure. You know, that's why I got my two shots and made sure I put it out on social media. I wanted especially my community to know that, first of all, it's safe. And the players, again, people listen to them. They follow them. That's very important. Plus, the last thing is this. You have said to your teammates, I'm going to be there for you. Mm. Well, you can't be there if you don't get vaccinated. You're letting them down. And then that hurts our chances of winning the championship. I would never do that to my. All right. So you guys just saw all of those clips. And so everybody knows that Kyrie Irving was banned by the Brooklyn Nets. He's banned from training. He's banned from participating. At first, they said he could play in home games. And at this point, they're just like, no, he needs to get vaccinated. That's it. That's all. So Kyrie is basically standing out by himself on this lone branch. And I just find it really disgusting that so many people are celebrating his downfall and are speaking on this. And, you know, the whole Magic Johnson thing to me is very interesting. Like Kay Summertime said on my Instagram page, we're going to start calling him Magic Johnson and Johnson, okay? What I find very interesting is his stance on the whole vaccine situation. Not just that, but also his stance towards Kyrie Irving. It's almost like he's okay with Kyrie Irving being shunned, being thrown to the wayside, saying either you go along with what the NBA is saying or else you're a disappointment to the team this is very rich coming from magic johnson because as a 90s kid he seems to forget that a lot of us remember when it came out that he had hiv and he had to get up on that podium and do that speech i remember this was a talk i was a little girl back then but i remember everybody talking about this the adults and you know we were all really upset because we were you know a sports family and as kids we were scared like is magic johnson gonna die and we didn't understand what all this meant so to hear him talk from a very arrogant standpoint it's really sad to me because for a lot of y'all who don't know magic johnson himself was ostracized okay Carl Malone and a lot of players back then did not want to play with him because there was not a lot of information out. And a lot of people were scared to get HIV or contracted from him, you know, in case he had an open wound. You know, if they touched his sweat, there was a lot of misinformation back then. And there was a lot of non-information back then as well. So in order to not put other players at risk, because a lot of players did not feel comfortable playing with him, he was basically ostracized and forced into early retirement. So for him to then turn around and do the same thing as somebody else. And Kyrie Irving is healthy as an ox. 
That's the crazy thing. It's not like Kyrie Irving has a chronic illness or he's dying or anything like that. He's literally healthy. He just doesn't want to be vaccinated. And Magic Johnson's talking down to him. Imagine Magic Johnson and Johnson. Imagine if you had this same energy for your then pregnant wife, Cookie. Imagine if you did the same thing that you want Kyrie to do, which is protect yourself and not possibly transmit an infection to your wife and unborn child. You know, it's very interesting that in the 90s, he was running around here wild, honey, uh, banging everything that moved. He, he acts so holy. I mean, he, he made love to every girl in every city in, in America, and he had AIDS. Dunn contracted a whole STD, put his pregnant wife at risk. You know, thank goodness she was negative. Thank goodness the baby was negative. But imagine if he had the same care and concern for his wife. So I can't take him seriously in 2021 when he's talking about you need to protect yourself. You need to protect other people. You need to be there for the team. It's about getting a championship ring. Well, what about the protection to protect your wife and your unborn child? You put your wife and child at greater risk than Kyrie Irving has ever done as far as this whole vaccine situation is concerned. So, yeah, it was very rich to me to see how arrogant Magic Johnson has gotten with this whole situation. I just felt like, you know, it's one thing if you're pro-vaccine, that's great, but I don't think he should have threw shade or even talked about the Kyrie Irving situation, especially when he went through, he went through it in the 90s, okay? He seems to forget how he was treated. So let me go ahead and play y'all some videos of things that went on back then with Magic Johnson. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Um, I just want to make clear, first of all, that I do not have the AIDS disease, because I know a lot of you I can want to know that, but the uh, HIV virus. Um, my wife is fine she's negative so no problem with her um i plan on going on living for a long time bugging you guys like i've always have so you'll see me around i plan on being with the lakers in the league hopefully david will have me for a while um penetrates down the middle he goes all the way reverse layup left handed good Johnson says the fun was taken out of basketball by the steady drumbeat of criticism from his fellow. They were telling reporters they were afraid to play with Johnson. But despite AIDS experts saying the risk of transmitting the disease on the court is infinitesimal, they were scared. Leading the pack, Johnson's colleague on the U.S. Olympic Dream Team, Carl Malone. If I get in a collision with a guy, it don't have to be magic. It can be Joe Smoke. But the fact of the matter is, if you got the AIDS virus, It'll be hard for me to play as hard as I'm capable of playing. And if people can't respect my decision, What were your thoughts tough. when you heard what Carl Malone was saying? It's like, uh, I'm hurt. You're hurt inside. Not at him, at the fact that I won't get a chance to play because of what he said. You understand? Good years left. Mm -hmm. And the saddest part of the story below the, the potential death sentence was, it took basketball away from him, right. and, and he tried so hard. Remember, he came back from the 92 All-Star game, and he yeah. was great in the All-Star game, and the MVP of that game with a little help from his friends, and, and then he tried to come back the next year and play, mm -hmm. and remember, he became pariah among the, the players who... who Carl Malone said he didn't want to play on the Because level. nobody knew enough. Right. Open wound, I don't want to get AIDS, you right. know, like, right. I, I don't want this. And he, he tried one more time, 95, 96, he lasted 32 games. And then he went to Europe and he tried the Magic Johnson All-Stars because he just wanted to play right. basketball. Mm -hmm. And it got taken from him. And then he sat back down and he finally said, okay, now what? All right, so y'all just watched that flashback, honey. They don't call me the queen of receipts for nothing, okay? So yes, Magic Johnson in Johnson has forgotten where he's come from. So I'm just very surprised at his stance, you know what I'm saying? Because he went through a lot. And should he have been mistreated and ostracized? Absolutely not. But it was a different time and people didn't have a lot of information, you know, and people were genuinely scared. So it made sense why it was best for him to retire early because it was making it where it was very uncomfortable for many people in the league. But it's so funny now that fast forward to 2021, you have a man out here, Kyrie Irving, like I said, who's as healthy as an ox from what I see and know. Um, and they're mistreating him in the same manner simply because of a vaccine. It's seen as OK, but yet people can look back on the Magic Johnson situation and see how wrong that was 
how he was treated. So I just find that really sad that he would even go there, you know. And as far as Howard Stern, Howard Stern always has something to say. He was also dragging Joe Rogan not too long ago. You know, it's funny that all of a sudden Howard Stern is another one who went and got the vax and somehow he thinks he done die for everybody's sins. Sir, it's a decision. And people are going to make the decision that best suits them, okay? Not you, Howard. Just because you want everything to go back to normal doesn't mean anything. We all want everything to go back to normal. But guess what? It's never going to go back to normal. So y'all better wake up. We are living in a global reset. That is what 2020 was. That was the beginning of the global reset. And it's no end in sight. So nothing will ever go back to the way it was before the pandemic, And that's what people need to realize. And just because you get the vaccine, that is great. But that does not mean that you're 100 percent protected. It does not mean that you cannot get sick and that you cannot spread it. I just think we're really walking a slippery slope when we're sitting here basically forcing people to state their medical status, to state if they've been vaccinated or not vaccinated. When people are losing jobs, the other day on my live stream, I talked about the supply chain again for like the hundredth time. And how a lot of companies, okay, the supply chain, um, the supply chain issue is affecting every facet of society. You have workers who are being literally fired and let go because they're not willing to be vaccinated or just not willing to work for those low wages. Um, So you have a lot of companies right now with huge shortages. So you would think with all these shortages going on that they really wouldn't care if somebody was vaccinated or not. They would still give them a chance to come to work and put on a mask, wash their hands and do all the things that we know help kill viruses. So I just find the whole situation just really sad. And, you know, big ups to Kyrie for standing with what he believes in for standing with his beliefs because he's a pariah right now and he's going to end up losing a lot of money behind this you even had charles barkley saying that they should find a way to take the money um from him that he's already been paid it's like damn why we got to be such crab in a barrel you know what i'm saying simply off of a decision this man didn't kill anybody he's not out here having all types of kids willy-nilly and not paying child support He's actually one of the few basketball players out here that I do truly respect. I got at least one or two pairs of Kyrie Irving shoes. I know I bought several pairs for my boys. You know, I I just, I like them. I don't agree with the whole flat earth shit, but you know, if that's what he wants to believe in, that's his business. It doesn't affect my life one way or another, but I mean, I get it. I get the hesitancy. I get the people who feel like everybody needs to be vaccinated, you know, because there's a virus out there. I get both sides of the argument, but belittling people, making them feel bad. All we're doing is causing a greater divide. And that's what they want. They want a great divide. I'm to the point where I'm convinced that at this point they want some type of vaccinated, unvaccinated civil war. Because this whole vaccine thing has just turned so political and so polarizing. It is insane. I've never seen anything like this. So I don't know, but Kyrie Irving, hold your head up, stay strong. And, you know, it's just sad. It's really sad what's going on in this world. I think that instead of criticizing him publicly, they should be talking to him and supporting that brother behind the scenes. Because like I said, you don't hear his name in a bunch of mess. You don't hear about him getting arrested and getting DUIs and, you know, out here wilding. He's a good brother. And that's it's really sad that they're tearing them up like that publicly. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. How do you feel about the whole Kyrie Irving situation? How do you feel about him choosing to not get vaccinated? Do you agree with his stance? It is his decision. Or do you feel like he's foolish for not doing it? And then how do you feel about everyone who's been coming at him from Stephen A. Smith to Howard Stern to Charles Barkley and now Magic Johnson? How do you guys feel about this? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video. Most importantly, check and see if you're still subscribed, honey, because you know YouTube loves to unsubscribe people from my channel, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.